still, that's your, even though you only have the one sack, it seems like you're thinking more about stopping the, the run. Yeah, you, you, you can't allow teams to be you know, two dimensional you know, because now you got them playing on the heels a little bit. Uh, and that's kind of what we've allowed. Even though those check. guys rushed, I think, almost 50 times, and, and you know, it was, the rule of thumb is three or less average, and we would have been less than that had we had better tackling. So, uh, you know, we want to make sure that we can try to make teams one dimensional. George is a very effective at running the ball. They don't hide it. Uh, we got to make sure we can stop that and then we'll earn the right to rush the pass, and hopefully those guys can get after it this week. Sacks are kind of, I guess, the glory number. Have you have you sensed any frustration in, in Charles? Uh, I, I hope not. You know, no. I think it comes with the territory as far as what we're doing, and uh, you know, I, obviously he wants to have the best season he can, but collectively we got to do it as a unit. If he continues to press the issue or anything like that, if that's his only focus, then it, it's, it's going to be a lot tougher on him. I know that for a fact. So what we've tried to do is remind him, let the game come to him. There are two or three on tape that I pointed out to him that if he just do this, he would have the sack, and I think the tape reflects that. He, he would agree with that, in my opinion. But uh, that's what we see as a staff, and that's what we know would happen. It had had he executed a couple things on a couple plays, and all it takes is that one play, and we're not sitting there talking about sacks. It's, it's about execution, and sometimes we haven't executed the right way on each snap. So, with Augusta, it seems like he's playing pretty well. Does he need to get into a little better condition so he can get on the field a little bit more? Well, we all want that. I think Gus wants that, and hopefully he'll play himself into that shape, which he should be in already. Uh, he may hopefully play himself in the next game or two, uh, but he is a force to be reckoned with. He eats up a gap and a half sometimes too, uh, so he's nice to have up there for us on the defensive line, especially in the run game. But his conditioning, it does hurt him because the more he plays, the, the taller he stands and the less effective he is. So I tease him about it, but I'm also very adamant about him playing with better pad level on a consistent basis, but the conditioning is a problem, yes. So is the theory right now, maybe until he gets in better shape, play him a little bit less so he doesn't stand up and, you know, is, is we not wanna, being productive on those We want to get him in and out as much as we can. So if that's every three plays, if that's every six plays, whatever he can play, we want to play. We tell our deep linemen to go hard as they can because we believe in our rotation and our depth. So um, it's across the board. Just go as hard as you can, and when you need to tap out for a play or two, let's do that. But we don't hold our kids back. We want them to play hard. How much – how well do you think the guys have, have picked up the, the read scheme and how well do you think they understand you know, their responsibilities pre-snap and everything like that? I think they understand it well. I think the commitment has got to be there. It's just the commitment. And uh, they, there's sometimes there's a full commitment to it. There are other times when they deviate more so the first game than this game. Uh, but still, it's about the commitment and trust. Uh, within the, the, the scheme and the structure of all 11 guys. No one guy can do it. When we're all committed, I think we look pretty good. When there's any type of doubt or hesitation or drawback on what they used to do, it shows up and it's pretty obvious. But uh, the thing that hurt us most this past week was tackling, in my opinion. It had nothing to do with scheme and calls. It had a lot to do with tackling more than anything. How much would better success on first and second down help that? the pass rush show back up? Uh, again, I, I've, I've told the guys, and I've, I've mentioned to the, the staff as well, I believe you have to earn the right to rush the pass, and we got to do a better job on first and second down. Uh, I thought we did that at times. When we got them in third down, uh, we didn't execute uh, up front you know, as far as getting home and also in the back end. And so those little breakdowns, we got to be better on third down. We were 11 of 20 or something like that. You want to be in the 30s. I thought the West Virginia game, we did a decent job on third down. So uh, we just got to put it all together, and hopefully this is our weekend to get that done.